Hello, this is Johnny Lou. Uh, I just got the package here from, I put down centerpiece so I won't forget it's a kit. And let's open it up, see what it comes with. Uh, I think I already took it out from the back. Okay, come with the instruction, okay? Uh, the first one is actually, is the place you're gonna go to download the driver. Okay, the second one is that if you don't have the kit, you go there and you fill up the the information and blah, blah, blah. But this is the one you're gonna go to to download the framework. It's gonna say it's for the trackball, for the centipede, but it's actually is for both. I I was kind of confused at first, but it turned out it's, 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 it's for both. Okay, and if you wanna pause it, then get the information, but that's where you go to download the driver. All right, so I'm gonna do a demonstrate. I, I noticed that YouTube, there's no uh, video about how to upgrade this. Uh, they told me that mine was already up, upgraded because uh, based on that this was purchased, you know, uh, it was supposed to be upgraded, but it turned out it, uh, when I leave this fully charged, and let me give you an example. Once I turn it on, like a couple of days later, I haven't played with it. And then I, I turn it on, uh, my templates, it was working fine. Uh, it doesn't shut down. But this one, once it turned on, if you realize that it doesn't have enough battery, it will automatically shut down. See, it's off. So there's no battery life on this. It's like it's totally dead again. So it doesn't stay like a whole week. Uh, if you don't if you don't play it for a whole week, it say that it's supposed to stay charged. It won't lose the battery juice, but it does. Okay. So I realized that there is a problem with this. Okay. So I'm gonna try to fix it. Now I know I just I noticed that there's a gap between here when I got mine. This is the one that, that is not perfect it perfect. The case is not perfect. And I remember uh, last time I mentioned that there is a, a dent here on my first review when I first got it. Yeah, it's still there. Anyway, I'm going to take this off. They recommend that you put this down like this. Okay. Now, I already downloaded into a folder. So, what I'm going to do is do the hardware. And then we're going to go to my computer and plug this in and try out the trackball. See if it's, if it's plugging correctly. If it's plugging correctly, then my mouse will be... Uh, moving using the trackball. So when I move my trackball, my mouse will move on the screen. Then I could go ahead and click it and upload it and then put everything back. And then before put the screw back, you know, we want to test it first. Okay, so what I recommend is use a blow dryer and blow this so it will be easier to peel off. Because otherwise, it's going to stick on it pretty well. And you're gonna have, when you take it off, it's going to leave uh, the paper there. And I don't like that. Okay. And uh, it did come with uh, the two sticker, so you can put it back on. And then we're gonna take this one off, which I already did already. Save some time. Use a blow dryer, so it won't leave any uh, paper on there. And then, uh, ooh, it's tight, pretty tight. Let me use a bigger one. Got it pretty tight. They don't recommend take the whole thing out, like just halfway, so you can use it to to pull it, pull the case open. Now, based on that sticker, it looked like it said QC tested on mine. It's supposed to be already been updated. So I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna videotape it, and then I'm gonna charge it, and then I'm gonna wait for a day or two, and then see if the system still work. So today is Friday. So if it doesn't work, uh, I will do another video and let people know that the upgrade did not work. You know, based on the because if you go to their website, I think here, uh, and, yeah, they will tell you that after the upgrade, that it's supposed to last a whole week after it's charged. You, you know, when you, when you don't play it. So, all right. So let's see if I could pull this open. I don't know how much I'm supposed to. Look like this one is put is out pretty much. Oh, this screw's already come out. Okay, let me screw some in a little bit. Let's 
see if I could. Nope, can't pull it out. Let me scoop some more in. I don't see how you could pull it open if you screw the screw back in because mine's not happening and the wood is kind of tearing. So I'm just going to take the whole thing out and try to pull on this. Okay. It appears to be more difficult to open this than it is uh, based on their video. <laughs> okay. So I guess you have to turn it upside down and shake it. Okay, I stop it from coming all the way out. You look like it's a portable uh, particle wood, like different layer of particle wood. So I think it's a better, no, it's not a particle. It's a little bit better than the particle wood. I think particle wood is all grounded. This one is more like, you know, right there, more solid. Okay, so they say put this on the side and we are going to go in here and get that thing pulled out some of this apparently none of the stuff is labeled what is what so this is a speaker ah I'm not even point to it I'm sorry dark in there huh let's go this way all right so uh, that one is it is obvious it's a speaker and that's the video and they put another tape on it to keep it from it looked like it's a 40 pin video call Look pretty interesting there. I think one of these days somebody should do a tear down on this. <laughs> it looks like it's it's bigger than the Raspberry Pi. I say Pi is a little bit smaller. Okay, so we need to pull on this. Let's say you have to pull it hard. Sorry, my hand's blocking it. I'm just gonna pull the wire. We go ahead. Oh, okay. okay. It looked like somebody might already have done this already because my pulling it wasn't that difficult to pull that, that, that wire out. Okay. Now it say that you're supposed to plug this end with this end together. Okay. Okay. So now we are back here with this cable out here. We are supposed to plug this in uh, based on this. So let me make this wire longer so that way I could plug it to my laptop. All right, so based on this two line, I will face this way. Like this. Okay, based on you guys can see that, see that the two hole right there, and then it's solid. Okay, so two hole, and then there's two two line right there. You're gonna like this. Okay, so we are gonna take this and plug into the laptop, so you can hear the demonstrate the sound. Uh, sound mean that. Okay, there you go. That means the computer recognized the port that you just plug in. All right, so I download it and it, it came with this file called zip file, right there, okay? And you're gonna unzip it and then you're gonna run the exe file, create a folder called mouse something blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna double click it again. All right, so you're gonna double click that. Now, before you do that, make sure, uh, I'm going to touch the trackball here. 
Okay, I, my hand is on the trackball, and we're gonna let's see if a mouse move. See, you move, see? See? So that means it's connected good, okay? See, um, I'm moving the mouse right here, okay? And you can see it's moving, okay? So we're gonna point to it, and I'm gonna click enter. Okay, you put a click of the left button. Well, I'll go ahead and click the white button. That's why I got the pop-up screen. Okay, so you got two choices. You could do the upgrade or access out. So we're gonna do upgrade the firmware, left click, and hopefully when you finish, it should say successful. Beginning pro progress, please wait. Update successful. Good. So now we're going to exit out. All right, and then unplug this thing. Okay. So we are going back to the table. Okay, we are back here now. So this thing is still plugged in. So I'm going to unplug it first. Easy to plug in, hard to unplug. Yeah, we're good to get it out. Okay, so I'm done with this. Okay, put that on the side. Now I have to plug this thing back in. Okay, the same direction I pull it out. So... Just take my word for it. I'm just gonna plug it in. You already saw it, how I plug it out. Well, actually you couldn't see it, my hand was in the way. So I'm gonna plug it back in. Uh, let me zoom in and show you what. Ooh. See that two line right there? The two line? I'm gonna be plugging in downward like this. Where this part is facing the cabinet and this two line right there it's going to face the that side, okay? So plug in this way. Now they recommend you turn the power on and test it and everything, but I'm just gonna put everything back on because because this thing is doesn't have any battery, so it's dead. So so it doesn't make any sense for me. I mean, I will plug the power on just to see if it works, you know, but I'm just going to plug this in, put the screw back on, and then uh, plug the regular power. Since the battery is not charged, the battery already drained, there's no battery life in this thing because the You don't want to screw too tight, just enough to where the button, you know, the button is, is gone, okay? Then you're going to put this back on, all right? So first, before I put that back on, I want to go ahead and plug the power in, see if it, if, if it will even let me play. Because uh, the other one, I could plug it in and I could play it, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to plug this back here okay it's showing the battery is charging see that so let's see if I could turn it on they say it's for a little charge for at least 10 sec 10 few minutes before you could even play it I want to see if I could even try to see if I could play it. It might die on me. I mean, the new upgrade should work because the old one, when you try to turn it on, it would just shut shut down right away. So hopefully the the new upgrade does work because I'm gonna to try to see if I could play it because uh, before I did the upgrade, I couldn't even turn it on. Right away, I turn it on, it got, it shut off. All right, let's try put some credit. Okay, one player. All right, trackball is working. 
Yeah. But track ball is working, so I'm going to let it charge and see if it will stay on this time for one week, like they say, if I don't play it. I'm going to test it in a, in a couple of days, see if it still works. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope this video helped. But yeah, that's how you do it. It's not hard. Just a few minutes and it works. So, I enjoy the centipede. Centipede doesn't have that other wood like a template where your finger... Like this one, your finger could be all here. It's not like like the templates where your finger had to be because the wood is like, see this one is cut off like this. So it's not blocking you. I wish they, I know they're trying to be the original on the templates. But the templates, because the wood is so straight down that your finger had to be like this, you know, because, you know, you cannot lay it next to it. So it's a little bit of a, issue for me because the wood the way they design it is nice it covered the interfering when you're playing the wheel arcade but for a little small one have the same design it became a problem because your hand are kind of like you know it's not free it's kind of like stuck between it on the templates but in a single centipede it's not the way they design it is good your finger is all you know you don't have to like do this to play the you know the tempers all right but anyway that's how you fix it and hopefully you stay fixed and i'll see you guys catch you guys later okay bye bye